Hello Aquarius, this is Miss Goddess T. Um, I've been gone for a while and I actually did your video just now but ha had some problems. So take two. Um, sorry for being away for so long, I had some craziness happen. But I'm back. Quick info, I do a... <laughs> Um, a past, present, and future spread. Um, quick reading. If you would like a more personalized reading, the information is in the description box below. And also, December 26th, we are getting a solar eclipse, which is going to bring positivity, good luck, financial abundance. It's just going to be good. So, I look forward to Christmas and the solar eclipse. So check that out and you can hop right into your reading. All right, this is for Aquarius for January 2020. Please and thank you, spirits. Divine. Aquarius for January 2020. Aquarius for January 2020. One more shuffle. Oh, that's still going. That one is a little bad. Aquarius. Okay, so in our past position, we have the Knight of Chalices. In the present, we have the Empress. And in the future, we have the Two of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So with just that underlying energy, um, December or we're still in December. So you could be going through some stress right now. Some heartbreak could be related to a relationship or perhaps something happened with your finances, got some bad news somewhere that's just causing you a lot of discomfort and stress, but know that it's only temporary. With the Knight of Chalices in the past position, if you haven't already in the near future, um, if it hasn't already happened, you could receive a love offer or decide to extend a love offer to someone. Um, in your present, you have the Empress. So this is all about nurturing, self-love, just an abundance of love and, and a good, caring kind of energy. So I'm seeing that you could possibly be advised to take some time out to show yourself some self-love now or you know in the very near future should be a good idea for you or perhaps this love offer will be received very well for you the person might see you as the empress you can be a male and still have that um fem divine feminine kind of energy that's aiding this love union but this is definitely divine divine feminine energy and then with the two of pentacles this is all about balancing your work life and fun so in the future for january i would advise you to get out there have fun all work isn't really good for anyone I guess unless you like what you do, then it's not really work. But let's clarify this, see what we get. Can we please clarify 
the Knight of Chalices. Please and thank you. What is the Knight of Chalices here for? Knight of Chalices. Okay. The Empress. Prepared by the Empress Peace Spirit. And lastly, the Two of Pentacles. Oh. All right. Got the Six of Chalices here, which is crazy because right underneath the Three of Swords, Six of Chalices. So this could, that heartbreak could have something to do with somebody that you have a long history with. You know, you might also be thinking of the times you guys have had or maybe some bad experiences that's causing a lot of heartache with something that may have happened maybe there's no communication and you're waiting for that communication which very much could be coming in with this love offer in your past position perhaps you're finally getting that offer to start things over again with someone um and <laughs> Underneath the Six of Cups, not only do we have the Two of Pentacles, but we have the Seven of um, the Seven of Pentacles, which is crazy because the clarifying card for the Knight of Chalices is the Eight of Pentacles. It all goes together. All right. So with the Eight of Pentacles, it's your relationship with money so it also could be you know the stability factor you're putting in work in this relationship going through different aspects of the relationship learning about somebody learning what they like learning what they don't like learning about yourself boundaries that you want to set up for yourself things like that but in a relationship kind of sense I see that you've put a lot of work and time into this relationship and that is why you want to start again with this person or why they're coming back and wanting to start over again with you in regards to finances this could be a message you're getting um, that's going to be emotionally uplifting for you it's going to cause you to take action and to get a hold of your finances and start getting down to your relationship with money, you know, um, trying to maybe save or realizing your spending habits, putting in different seeds, different places, so you can be financially abundant, basically focusing on your relationship with money. But there's little messages on these cards that I like to read in case anything pops out. It says, this card encourages your impulse to learn new things and to put new sk skills to good use. Sorry, I'm rusty. I haven't done this in a while. Don't stop investigating things. Take a class or learn a craft. Whatever you are undertaking, give it your all. Only when you dedicate yourself completely to a task will you see the results you desire. So, like I was saying, it's putting that work in and owning your craft, getting better, you know, your skills and everything like that. Um, this could be an offer, like I said, for a job, because it's on the Eight of Pentacles. With this new job opportunity, give it your all. You can succeed. You will never imagine how far you can go until you put your all into it, until you try. Clarifying the Empress is the Death card. So this could be an ending to a relationship, and you're being called to nurture yourself after it presently or this could be a transformation from that old relationship you got that new love offer coming in we're going to start over again leave what happened in 2019 in the past and start over and transform this relationship into something that is loving and nurturing um, with the death card it says change happens rich or poor 
we all face an inconsistent world. This skeletal rider brings news of something ending. Don't fear the messenger. No matter how you fight it, this transition is inevitable. Remember your flexibility will save you. Somewhere a door is closing, so look for the nearest window. With that, you know, we're, we get scared with the death card, but honestly, I learned to enjoy the death card because I know that there's a new beginning going to start after an ending of something that was supposed to end. So whether this be a relationship or a job, know that this was supposed to happen and you can now move forward just with a lot of passion and knowing who you are, loving yourself not letting that affect you. Clarifying the two of pentacles, we have the queen of pentacles. I don't know if you guys can see her. Yes. So that's definitely awesome. Um, queen of pentacles, she is the mastery of her coin, of the money. She is, you know, honest, trustworthy, somebody you want to hire going to do a great job. Um, perhaps this is the person you want to be with, you know, that love offer that you want to extend. Perhaps it's somebody that's going to be really stable for you. Could be an earth sign, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, doesn't have to be, but it could be somebody that, you know, is very honest and they make you feel, you know, great. They're, they're loyal. With the Queen of Pentacles, it also could be that you are getting that financial abundance and you're being called to enjoy it. Go out there and have fun. If you have a significant other, go out there and go on some dates. Enjoy yourself. If you're single, still go out there and take yourself on a date. You can take yourself out on dates. Just enjoy yourself. Don't work so much. Balance the work life with fun. And don't be so stuck on just money, money, money. I'm a Capricorn or sign, you know, we're all about money. I know how important it is to not focus too much on it. So it's definitely important for you to go out there and have fun, especially with this underlying three of swords energy, leaving that heartache or that stress that you had, leave that in the past. In 2020, January, it's time for fun, time for enjoying that financial abundance that you've created or being with that person that you've extended that love offer to and being happy. I think that's all that I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next month.